best advice I ever got, probably from anybody, was from Charles Kennedy. He just said to me, you should be yourself. I think there's no one else you can be than yourself. I'm kind of very proud of my background and have incredibly fond memories of my childhood. But it was one that was relatively poor, actually. It was nevertheless stable and loving and secure. But I saw people around me in my community who didn't have those advantages. And I saw this thing on television, Kathy Come Home, and it kind of broke my heart, really. And I thought, I need to do something about this. I, I don't think I ever thought or assumed that I'd end up, you know, being a politician or doing anything like this for a living. I was motivated to get involved in politics in the first place because I was moved emotionally by something and thought that I could make a difference if I got involved. And I'd certainly make a lot more difference than if I just sat on my backside and let it all happen without me. I guess I have to pinch myself sometimes to think that I'm actually being, if you like, paid to do the thing that I absolutely love. It's about serving people, making a difference. This is one of the most beautiful places anywhere, but the people are even better. And it's massively humbling knowing that you've got a role that means that you can change people's lives, make them better, less challenging than they were going to be. I'm always very, very proud of my community, the one that I'm part of around here, but I'm not so narrow-minded to think that other bits of Britain aren't just the same. Might look different, but they're just the same and people are determined to help one another. People's desire to do the best for not just their families, but their neighbours' families and for their wider community. Um, and so for me, uh, being involved in politics is about trying to make the best of that, uh, that community spirit and being proud of what's best about being British. And that means reaching out. Great Britain is at a real crossroads at the moment. We could end up as a very isolated, insular, economically impoverished, not very significant country, or we could end up with a really ambitious, exciting future where we accept the potential of our young people and work on it and make sure we're an outward-looking, decent, tolerant, open country that wants to work with the rest of the world, that values its place alongside its neighbours in Europe, and wants to build an infrastructure for the next 50 to 100 years. Backing businesses, backing enterprise, entrepreneurship, which is something which is, to my mind, synonymous with liberalism. So I'm actually really optimistic. But I also know that there are people around the United Kingdom who feel that they don't get a fair deal and so I'm determined that Liberal Democrats step into that space to serve people. And that's what motivates me. 